What's up, everybody? So, uh, recently I've been looking into trying to figure out if I can make my own windshield washer fluid. And it turns out you can. And there's already a million videos on YouTube of how to do it. But me being me, I don't believe it for myself until I try it for myself. So, um,. I'm going to do an experiment and see if it actually works first and see if this does not freeze because, you know, you can't trust anything you see on the internet. You should always test it and verify it for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a batch and I'm going to put it in my garage and see if it freezes because the last thing I want to do is freeze my uh, windshield wash reservoir and have that thing crack and break. So, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill up this with 50% isopropyl alcohol, which I got from the dollar store. I'm going to use half of this, pour it in here, I'll do that now. This is what the recipe calls for, a little bit of this, some dish soap, and some water. So I'm going to pour half of this in here. Probably can't see it on camera, but that's okay. It's almost half, a little bit more. A little bit more. So basically that was uh, 50 cents. Uh, a little bit of dish soap. Put three squirts in there, and now I'm going to fill it up with tap water, which is a couple cents. Alright, so we filled that up. I'm going to put the cap on and shake it up so it mixes good. And essentially, point of the alcohol is obviously so it doesn't freeze your solution. And as a control, I'm going to fill this up with tap water and see if this freezes as well. This is just going to be tap water with no alcohol, nothing. This is the solutions. I'm going to set these in my garage for a couple days and see if they freeze. That way, that's how we're going to test to see if this actually works or not. So, I had this little weather station. It's 28 degrees in my garage. That's below freezing. 32 is freezing. 69 in the house. I don't know if you can see this. Here is the forecast for the week today. 20 degrees, a high 20, tomorrow, 16, 20, 20, look at those lows. So by the 10th, they'll be above freezing, but this is going to be cold enough to see if our solution freezes or not before we put it in our car. Here's that little unit that tells you uh, what the degrees is in the garage. So here we go. Day one, here is our windshield washer fluid that we made. That's all the soap. Here's our bottle of water without the propyl, isopropyl alcohol. So we're going to see if these freeze with our cold temperatures and uh, test it out. I'll be back with the results in a couple days. Alright guys, it's the next day. <clears throat> As you can see, this is frozen. This is frozen. You can hear it. So either I did it wrong and didn't add enough isopropyl alcohol or it just doesn't work. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. See if I added more isopropyl alcohol, like the whole bottle or two bottles, I could just go out and buy some windshield washer fluid for the same price. Anyway, cheers.